This is the final week of Hispanic Heritage Month. I love this time because we get to highlight the diversity and the contributions of those with Latin roots. And joining me this morning is someone who is typically behind the scenes. This is Veronica Mejia. Hi. She is one of our morning producers. Yeah, good morning. Uh, we've been working on stories that will run each day this week, and we checked out businesses and people from our Latin communities who make an impact in our community. Yeah, and I wish we could have gotten to every place and to every person. This week we'll introduce you to those who help our children and first time home buyers, as well as those who are bringing some authentic cuisine where you live. And we want you to celebrate with us. Right. Celebramos. Right, so we are starting off with El Centro, an organization that strives to see your kids grow. And we want you to not only meet some of the students, but also the one who fights to keep El Centro up and running. Hello. We have from 30 to 48 students, you know, so we are very blessed to be able to help that many kids. Meet Leticia Gasaway. She is the chairperson of El Centro, an organization created to help students with their homework after school. El Centro started in 2006. Gasaway says they've been through a lot of hardships with funding. Luckily, they receive help. AT&T provided computers, Toyota gave a grant, and United Way sponsors them. Gassaway says the goal is to keep the kids interested in their education. Uh, the Hispanics represent a quarter of all students in public schools, and uh, they represent the highest dropout rate. So we try, my, my, that's, that is my weakest point. And um, as you can see, it's hard for her to talk about. I try to catch them before they drop out of school. She says she's committed to doing it. And we want to keep him engaged. We want to keep him coming here so they won't be getting into trouble somewhere else. They do that by offering field trips. They recently visited Washington, D.C. El Centro also offers their seniors a scholarship opportunity and chess lessons for their younger students. Tupelo Public School District sends some of its teachers to help out and others volunteer their time. But Gasaway says they need more. A lot of the questions that I have when I'm looking for volunteers, folks say, well, I don't speak Spanish, I can't help you. 99, well, more like 98% of our kids are American-born, English-speaking kids, so they don't need help in Spanish. We met many of El Centro's students. They have some big dreams. They want to be an astronaut. That's super cool. I'm an entrepreneur. I want to own my own restaurant. I'm possibly at the computer programming. I want to be a teacher. A teacher? I still don't know. It's fine. A doctor. A doctor? What do you want to be? A teacher. A teacher? Half a car wash with an arcade. Build my own business, helping, also helping out those children in need. Almost 20 years later, Leticia Gasaway is determined to see El Centro thrive. You know, none of these kids are related to me, but I think they're, they're so special. Now, now that you see them, that they, they got out of college, and they're so successful, you can't give up. 